Well, folks, it looks like even the smartest AI companies can have a bad hair day. OpenAI, the tech wizards behind ChatGPT, recently had a bit of a whoopsie. On May 23, 2023, a hacker managed to sneak into their digital treehouse. This wasn't some elaborate heist from a Hollywood movie. It was more like someone finding the key under the doormat. The hacker accessed OpenAI's internal discussions. It's like they stumbled upon the company's digital water cooler. But here's the kicker. They didn't actually breach any of OpenAI's core systems. It's like breaking into a house, but only being able to read the post-it notes on the fridge. So what exactly did our mystery hacker get their hands on? They accessed OpenAI's internal Slack channels. For those of you who don't know, Slack is like a digital office space where employees chat, share memes, and occasionally do some work. The hacker gained access to these internal discussions, which included conversations about OpenAI's products and security measures. But they didn't breach OpenAI's core systems. They didn't steal any user data or personal information. This distinction is crucial because it means that while OpenAI's internal discussions were compromised, their actual AI models and user data remain secure. Still, it's a wake-up call for OpenAI and other AI companies. Now, you might be wondering how OpenAI responded to this digital break-in. Did they sound the alarms? Did they release a statement full of corporate buzzwords and non-apologies? Well, hold on to your hats, folks, because OpenAI decided to take a page from the if a tree falls in a forest and no one is around to hear it, does it make a sound? Playbook. They kept quiet. By keeping quiet, OpenAI hoped to avoid tipping off the hacker and potentially compromising ongoing security efforts. But behind the scenes, they were scrambling like a cat on a hot tin roof. They launched an internal investigation and beefed up their security measures. This strategy of silent vigilance is a bit of a double-edged sword. It raises questions about transparency and trust. Now let's zoom out a bit and look at the bigger picture. This security breach at OpenAI isn't just a problem for one company. It's a wake-up call for the entire AI industry. This incident highlights the vulnerabilities that exist even in the most advanced tech companies. If OpenAI, with all its brain power and resources, can fall victim to a security breach, what does that mean for smaller AI companies? The implications for national security are also worth considering. AI technology is increasingly being used in sensitive areas like defense, finance, and healthcare. A breach in these systems could have consequences far beyond embarrassing internal chats. This raises questions about the role of government in regulating and protecting AI technologies. Should there be stricter oversight, or would that stifle innovation? In the wake of this incident, and others like it, Governments around the world are starting to take AI security more seriously. The Biden administration in particular has been making moves to address AI security. They've proposed measures like AI audits and red team testing. But it's not just the US that's concerned. Countries around the world are coming together to tackle this issue. These efforts are aimed at creating a framework for responsible AI development and use. Despite the challenges, these efforts are crucial. Without them, we risk creating a digital Wild West. So here we are, standing at the crossroads of innovation and security. On one side, we have the exciting world of AI development, full of possibilities. On the other side, we have the very real need for robust security measures to protect this technology from misuse or theft. The challenge lies in finding the right balance. Push too hard on security and you risk stifling innovation. On the other hand, if we let innovation run wild without proper safeguards, we're inviting trouble. This balancing act is further complicated by the rapid pace of AI development. By the time we come up with security measures for one type of AI, 10 new types have popped up. Maybe the solution lies not in finding a perfect balance, but in constantly adapting and evolving our approach. In a world where AI is becoming increasingly human-like, perhaps the most human thing we can do is to keep questioning keep improving, and keep striving for a future where innovation and security walk hand in hand.